everyone was just taking photos. Yeah. And it was just very like pompous. Like with all due respect, it was just photo here, let me get this, let me get this angle. It just seemed didn't seem so genuine. How have you been? I saw you went Coachella. How was that? Was that your first time? Yeah, that's my first time at Coachella. And guys, Adjola, everyone, horrific. I hated it. Okay, so... I hated it. What From what parts did you start to hate it? Like, did you go there with the mindset to enjoy? Yes, I went okay. there to enjoy. I brought fits, like, for days already. If you guys follow me on TikTok, you'll know that I've already talked about my little airport situation. Like, okay. just annoying women another day. But I think for me, with Coachella... Growing up for Coachella, I felt like it was always such a like, oh my God, everyone goes, it's a big festival, everyone dresses so nice, like you have a good time. But the reality of it, my personal experience was, it was a bit, obviously I feel like the job I'm in and the whole influencing and getting pictures, going out with brands, I get it, you need to get your photo, you need to do all stuff like that. But they get to a point where it's like, okay, it's enough. Like, let me have fun. And when I was, st I remember this scene, I was just standing there, like watching the, watching everyone before they're like at the concert bit where you're, you know, partying, watching your performers. Everyone was just taking photos. Yeah. And it was just very like pompous. Like with all due respect, it was just photo here. Let me get this, let me get this angle. It just seemed, didn't seem so genuine, like in the moment or oh, let me quickly get my picture. It just wasn't for me. I'm very grateful, very humbling. Like just yeah. to be flown out is already a nice thing. And yeah. do you know what I mean? Nice space. So I think when I initially went with the brand, it was kind of like, oh, it's going to be a good time. It's Coachella, it's America. Like it doesn't matter. The brands that we were doing content for anyways, especially like some of them I really wanted to work with anyway. So yeah. it didn't make a difference for me. But I think when I think about like the distance, like it's 10 hours away. Sometimes I'll be like trying to talk to you, Adjola, and you're sleeping mm. because, and it's in the morning, like being that distant from your family and loved ones, being in an environment with like people you don't, not that you don't know like that, but there's people you just, it's not home. It's not home. And yeah. also, like, we were sharing as well. So for me, that's not a problem. I'm quite easy to share with. But that space and that you mm. time and even producing the type of content you want, you all, I can always do that when I'm alone. I don't yeah. have to worry about someone else. So it wasn't the best trip I was on. I cried a lot in that trip. It just was, yeah. Unite, it just wasn't the can trip for me. Can you send the producers the clip of Yeah, me crying, crying guys. There's she, a clip there's of me. There's a clip of her crying, walking through the crowd. <laughs> no one noticed. And no one noticed it and could just see tears falling yeah. through her glasses. And guys, I had a breakdown. Like, I had a panic attack. Like, it's it was, I just realised it wasn't for me. And the toilets, babe, you would have just actually passed out. Oh, I don't even know. You bother. don't know. The They're disgusting. I and it's like... Always in pee in a yeah something. it's better to just pee in a bush yeah because that's at least clean like yeah. the toilets and I, what i didn't understand was we just arrived yeah. this was the entrance toilet if you saw the toilets at the end of the night horrific so it's not me being a diva it's just oh, i like clean stuff yeah. and i'm i think i'm too kind of like hygiene orientated mm. and feeling comfortable to be in an environment where those things aren't a priority like the comfortability so yeah. i watched burner boy Lato, mm -hmm. but other than that, like I don't, I, even I'm saying it, like I don't think that like, I'm so obsessed with a celebrity that I would go out of my way to buy a ticket like yeah. that. Like the only person I'm going to see in concert is Abba, and they're dead. Do you know what I mean? Like yeah. it's <laughs> like I'm not that kind of person. So it was an experience to say the least. If someone's asked me like, would you go again? I'd be like, no. The only time I would go again would be if like a brand is really yeah. packing in it. Can't yeah, do festivals unless it's, like I'm unless going we're working, for free, working, work, yeah. artist pass, VIP P. pass. Like it's not something you'll go as as a normal every day. It's just not for me either. Yeah, so I just know I won't have fun. Yeah, it wasn't the best. I don't think you would like it unless we actually had the artist past and guys I'm still grateful still like appreciative don't get me wrong but I think as like someone that doesn't like big crowds anyways and gets like yeah. really stressed out about those kind of environments to not feel that secure with people stopping you as well it's a lot it, it just wasn't the best I just I don't think even I was mentally at the right time to be there anyway yeah. so it just wasn't the best trip but um yeah that really had me pressed for for Coachella there were, I'm trying to think of anything that, that was alarming other than people just taking bare pictures yeah. like just very pompous I feel like Coach That's Coachella is everyone's expecting to wait for people's Coachella outfits so yeah. people put so much pressure. pressure and prioritise getting their pictures yes that's just where, what it's come to yeah now, that's basically. people come for the photo and yeah. I literally put my clothes because that would like, be me like yeah. if I, I would literally go for the photo like let's say if I didn't have an artist pass or anything I'll go yeah. for the photo and 
get my car and go, and go home. Yeah. And I'll be so And content. I wanted to do that. After I got my content, I was just like, well, there's no one that's performing that I... And the lineup wasn't that lit, you know? Like, mm. when we were at the airport and the guy was like... I don't know why in America they love to just ask questions. I felt like I was being interrogated when you go through security. Let, let me know if you guys ever feel like that. But they always just ask questions. They keep asking questions. And I'm like, I don't know. He was like, who are you, who are you excited to see perform? I said, to be honest, I don't know who's performing. Yeah. Like, and yeah, the lineup wasn't like that lit. Burner Boy and Lai was the only two people that I liked. And guys, I'm such an avid girl. Like, let's go for it. Like, I love a good time. But that environment, I couldn't do that avid in there. It was just yeah. giving too much. I think I was missing as well. Like, if I was there, you would have had fun. Oh. Probably, yeah. I would have had no, a lot yeah, more not fun. Not probably, not but fun. fun. I would have had a lot more fun. You Definitely. would, you would have. Hundred percent. Yeah, thank you, babe. You made yeah. a comment when you was that it would only be Abba and they're dead, but they're not dead. Why do you think they're dead? God forbid. <laughs> <laughs> Where did you get that from? <laughs> because fake news. No, because the Abba concert isn't them. Oh, but does it mean that they're dead? God forbid. God that forbid. was an innocent mistake. That was an in in innocent mistake. I just thought they were dead. <laughs> I thought it was like a tribute concert. Because <laughs> it was for the whole year. Like, I've never heard a concert keep going for the whole year. Like, oh, sorry, Abba. I still love you a lot. 